ओके इफ आई वॉज आस्ट वॉट इज द सिंगल बिगेस्ट मिस्टेक पीपल मेक वेन इट कम्स टू टॉकिंग अबाउट एंड इंटरप्रिटिंग स्पिरिचुअलिटी आई थिंक इट इज द फैक्ट दैट मोस्ट पीपल फील दैट टर्निंग स्पिरिचुअल वुड मीन दे हैव टू लेट गो ऑफ ऑल ऑफ देर एम्बिशन एंड लीड अ रादर डल लाइफ मोस्ट पीपल थिंक अबाउट एंड इंटरप्रेट स्पिरिचुअल गुरुज इन दिस मैनर most people interpret other spiritual people in this manner and most people feel that they would turn spiritual only after retirement because of this bias and i feel nothing could be farther from the truth when it comes to spirituality hello good people of the internet welcome to another episode in ask a human not an ai with chetan narayan today's question is from dev pande and i feel it is an extremely vulnerable question and it is something about a dilemma which a lot of people would be going through but would not be able to word it as as well as dev has let's hear him out he asks me presently i am preparing for government job exams but i feel stuck whenever i find that whatever i have studied from jk jiddu krishnamurthy or from a little bit of philosophy it is totally different from this competitive arena where you have to follow some disciplines of obsessiveness hard work extra and massive effort which is completely different from what jk or philosophy teaches us and also apart from philosophy i have other idols as well like kobe bryant mohammad ali etc who were obsessive competitive these two have become diametrically opposite for me to follow and apply what would you suggest to me what a lovely question this is almost like a tug of war match where we have dev pande in the center on one side we have um, ambition hard work obsessiveness giants like kobe bryant mohammad ali pulling him in this corner and on the other side we have philosophy we have spirituality we have a giant of a man like jk in this corner and he's pulling him towards this side and dev is in the middle being pulled by both these sides and he doesn't know what to do he's being pulled by these two apparently extremely different diametrically opposite forces and he stuck and i have a three part response to your question dev firstly let's talk about perspective i want you to understand that all of this tug of war between hard working and ambitious people and obsessive people like kobe bryant and mohammad ali on one end and apparently only philosophical and spiritual and sort of soft people like jiddu krishnamurthy on the other end all of this tug of war is going on in your own head these people these different um, figures who are inspiring you or pulling you towards them are not real people but these are versions and images of these people in your head now this matters because it's it's very good to draw inspiration from different sets of people from different kinds of people but where this inspiration can go wrong is when we feel that we can understand the choices and the actions and the philosophies and the opinions of these people absolutely when we feel that the versions of these people in our heads are actually what these people were also all about and to make matters worse we try to manifest the same actions the same choices in our own life remember you are not going to be the next kobe bryant or the next mohammad ali or the next jiddu krishnamurthy you are dev pande you're going to be the first and the last dev pande you are unique in your own way and that is what you need to follow that is the star you need to follow you do not need to worry about whether whatever you would be thinking and doing in your life whatever choices you would be taking whatever paths you would be following would be approved by kobe bryant or mohammad ali or jk or even me for that matter you have to follow your own star and why does this matter because very clearly these these images of these people in your heads are quite firm they are quite fixed and the interpretation that you might have of a philosophical person like jiddu krishnamurthy i feel is a limited position and that is the second point i want to talk to you i want to talk to you about ambition versus spirituality to put it very clearly spirituality and philosophy are not against ambition they are not against hard work they are not even against obsessiveness you mentioned jk jiddu krishnamurthy in your question do you really feel jiddu krishnamurthy was not a hard worker is it really even possible to give so many lectures 
to start the foundation or the foundations that he started to write all the books that he wrote to influence all the lives that he influenced without being a hard worker without being obsessive in in whatever it is that he was trying to achieve without having something that he actually wanted to achieve from all of that without having an ambition in that manner of speaking it's not spirituality and philosophy are not against any of those things that you're actually putting in the other corner which is what brings me to the last and the most important point that i want to talk to you about and that is purpose most of these things the hard work the obsessiveness the ambition that you're talking about they matter very little compared to the reason as to why you are doing whatever it is that you're doing so let's talk about purpose now victor frankl author of this powerful book man's search for a meaning gave a very powerful quote he said something to the tune of he who has a strong why can bear almost any how now i feel this quote is absolutely relevant to what we're talking about here because think about it everything that you've put in this side of the tug of war the hard work the ambition the obsessiveness the extra and massive effort all of that constitutes the how the how of how would you achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve while what the quote means and what is also true is that it matters much more than these things it matters much more than the how it matters why do you want to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve your reason for pursuing whatever it is that you're pursuing it matters much more than how you would be achieving all of those things so what you need to do is to perform an exercise in raising your level of self awareness in raising your level of self awareness to the extent that you really understand deep down what is the core reason for doing and pursuing whatever it is that you're doing or pursuing and that can only be done when you're not in a state of overwhelm when you're not being overwhelmed by the different life situations by the different emotions flowing through you because of those life situations so start a meditation session sit down relax take a few deep breaths and then try to meditate on why why you are pursuing whatever it is that you're pursuing each of us has a certain something to offer to the world each of us has a certain purpose in our life and that purpose may keep shifting throughout our lives you tell me that you're pursuing a government job right now it could be that you're really pursuing a government job but what it could also mean is that what you're really pursuing is the security or the apparent security that comes along with a government job what it could also mean is that you're pursuing having more power over other people what it could also mean is what you're really pursuing is an approval of your parents and of your peers about the choices that you're making in your life none of these things are inherently good or bad the heart wants what it wants and you have to move in that direction but i want you to become aware of your real why once you become aware of your real reason for pursuing whatever it is that you're pursuing you would not be looking for approvals from the versions of dead people in your head i e kobe bryant or mohammad ali or jiddu krishnamurthy and you would also not be looking for approvals from anyone else for that matter because like i said previously you have to follow your own star you don't have to worry about becoming the next kobe bryant or the next mohammad ali or the next jiddu krishnamurthy all you have to worry about is to become an authentic version of dev pande now that could mean still pursuing the government job it could also mean moving into a completely new business it could also mean moving into a completely different direction away from everything that you have been thinking about so far because you're hooked on to the familiar stuff all of those things would matter very little if you have a strong why for going in the direction that you're going in become more self aware keep becoming more and more self aware and keep pursuing the highest strongest thought that you can think of especially when you're still especially when you're not being overwhelmed by your life situation if you do that if you have a strong why for going in the direction in which you're going you would not find contradictions when you compare these actions with all of these people the kobe bryans the muhammad ali's and even the jiddu krishnamurtis i hope this helps dev until next time peace out
to understand more about the purpose of life and how do you go about finding your specific purpose in life, check out my video on this topic. It must be appearing on your screen right now and the link is also available in the description down below. Check out that video, like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the playground soon.